good evening, plebeians. Welcome to another Friday night extravaganza that is RCM on Tap, your 60-ish minute roundtable discussion show where we go behind the scenes of Rivalcast Media and all of our fun things going on on the internet. And tonight, we have a very, very special <laughs> guest. Damn it. <laughs> Strawberry Short Kate. I almost said Kate. Oh, she had to triple. Damn it, it killer. I was so I was so thinking about like not what? tripping over strawberry short cake that yeah. I did not have this problem until you brought that up. I'm blaming you for this. Oh my goodness. Anyway, joining me as always, Killer McCoy. Oops. And Biomed Alchemist. As I muted them again. She who said why? And yes, Strawberry Short Kate is here. Uh, you may have seen her on her Twitch station. Uh, she plays a variety of different games uh, throughout the week on Twitch. She also has a very, very interesting YouTube station. Uh, my personal <laughs> favorite, as I mentioned, is she is the host of Cooking with Kate, which inspired my dinner earlier tonight because I was <laughs> re-watching some of the videos and I was like, you were doing a video where you were making... Um, like the chicken rigatoni, and I'm sitting oh, there yeah. watching it, and I'm like, I want pasta. <laughs> and I was I was in the middle of a conversation with somebody in IRC about you know we were talking about this game, and I, I was just suddenly like, I want pasta. And he's like, what? <laughs> what does that have to do with anything that we were just talking about? I was like, I'm hungry. <laughs> You're like, believe me, it's warranted. <laughs> uh, it was dinner time. I mean, it made sense to me. Right. So, <laughs> Your husband's being very supportive in chat, by the way, Baroness. I, I, can't, I can't. Say, here comes the chat. copyright police. <laughs> I can't see chat right now. Aww. I know, I can't see chat right well, now. Well, well. I did find the adapter, though, so I think I have a possibility of hooking up the other monitor. Ooh. Tomorrow, which means I would Great. actually be able to see everything I need to see. It in other words, the battle center. station will be fully operational. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. That means I can break out the Death Star lamp and put it right behind me so that it can yes! right there. <laughs> be like, yes! So now I'm counting on one of your cats to steal the plans and has to deliver it to kill her. Why do I have to be the one? Because you're the rebel. Because she already hates me. <laughs> I hate nobody. That is, that is a bold She just despises them. It is a bold faced lie, Mr. Alex. Hobbs would I'll never deliver. Time, smack you for it. She'd never deliver the Death Star plans to me. He'd get lost anyway. I think we already established that. Uh, well, I, I know Hobbs has it out for hacks, but I don't remember if he has it out for you. Oh, yes, yes. Thought you'd said was, so, yeah. Because he was back, uh, back pawing your little Lego guy across the room. That was, what started. <laughs> that was what started. It's not a good look. Poor little Lego guy. Yep. I should make a movie about that. Hmm. A tale of survival. That was a good movie. I'm not the Lego kidding. Man survival. That was a good movie. But let's talk about Kate for a while. Indeed. Because, you know, you, you do a lot of really cool things. Um, you know, you, you do a variety of different things uh, with Twitch. You, know, you vi have a variety of different games. <laughs> and something really cool that you're doing on August 27th. So, what day is today? Oh my gosh, two weeks from today. Well, <laughs> from yeah. Tomorrow. Um, you're doing something very cool with a very special charity stream. Yes. Um, myself, along with Leonard18, who's actually in chat right now, what, what? Um, we <laughs> are doing a 24-hour stream to raise money for Gamers Outreach Foundation, which a friend of mine started here in Michigan. Um, and what it does is they raise this money and they create these things called go-karts. They are portable video game devices that they take into hospitals. So children oh. who are there staying, and even adults too, because there are adults who have said mm -hmm. they've used these, um, they can just play games and it gets their mind off being in the hospital for whatever reason they're in there for. And there's just so many wonderful pictures and stories from people who have used these go-karts and it's a wonderful thing that they've done. So we're raising money for that operation on the 27th, we've got lots of giveaways too. We've been emailing until our fingers are bleeding. Um, <laughs> and we've got companies like Elgato giving things away. Oh, we've wow. got, oh yeah, <laughs> we've got Jerky XP. So many companies are helping us and it is going to be a really, really awesome, fun event. Um, we have a whole section dedicated just to scary game streams, which my followers would tell you that I am so, 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 so bad at scary game streams. I am the jumpiest person you'll ever meet. 
So, so they love it. They love it. Yeah, <laughs> they, I think they kind of go usually turns out. Too. Yeah. <laughs> So we turn on scare notifiers, you know, and like every time there's a donation or a follower host or whatever, it just, ugh, I'm, I'm horrible. I'm horrible because I'm so jumpy. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to be a really fun event. The 27th and it's on the Chive Gaming Chapter Twitch. <laughs> so definitely check that out. Um, Rivalcast Media is going to be hosting that channel throughout the day on Saturday the 27th as well. So if you forget and you're like, oh, Rivalcast Media is live, just remember you do have to be in the Chive Station uh, to be in their chat to be eligible for the different giveaways. So don't forget that. But uh, you will get to see it through Rivalcast as well throughout the day. So yeah, give them some love. I mean, it's a, it's a great event. Um, it does uh, just knowing uh, my my nephew was in the hospital for a very long time when when he was little and just seeing those kids there i mean it really does make a difference so mm -hmm. be sure to check it out it's a very cool thing yeah we're very excited for it <laughs> so so what sort of games will you be i'm assuming it's not going to be horror related games then so what what sort of games are you going to be playing that day well, you see, Leonard is keeping me mostly in the dark on it. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh. He's, he's a great friend. So um, this is going to be a horror game. Though. Shia right. surprise. I know he did say that he picked up um, Mount Your Friends. Oh, which, that's okay. a funny game. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love that game so much. Um, <laughs> it just makes me just die laughing. So I know that one is going to be played. He says he's not intentionally keeping me in the dark, but yet he's not intentionally telling me any games allegedly, either. So. Allegedly. <laughs> so I don't really know. We've got a variety of games, so I guess we'll just have to see. <laughs> well, we will definitely look forward to that. <laughs> so here's a here's a good question though, kind of tagging along with that, but you know, because you play games like all day long. I mean, we were talking about that a little bit before the show. <laughs> Um, you know, when you are playing, though, what, what sort of genres do you like? I mean, what's your, you, you've tried a bunch of different stuff at this point. Mm -hmm. um, we were talking about, um, and I, I'm actually glad that you mentioned it because it was one of those games that uh, when the announcement first came out, I was really interested, but then my mind goes elsewhere. So um, I'm definitely looking at, at uh, playing Unraveled. But, like, <laughs> you reminded me. I was like, I remember that. I remember oh, trying God. about that trailer. <laughs> but, I mean, what, what sort of things do you like playing the most? I mean, what, what genres are you into? I, when I grew up playing games, um, I was more into first-person shooters. I got into complain, playing those ones more competitively. Mm -hmm. So I was playing a lot of Halo and Call of Duty. Oh, so Halo. I still did. <laughs> Halo, rip. Um, <laughs> still they destroyed it before. <laughs> and five. The killer's not bitter. I'm all. not bitter. <laughs> As he takes his drink. I know. It kind of stopped after three. Oh. Um, <laughs> but I do, I do still love playing first-person shooter games. Not as much anymore just because God and Halo have kind of, you know, taken a little backseat on their games. Um, I always love RPGs. Um, I love the Borderlands series. Absolute favorite. Metal Gear Solid series is another favorite of mine. I've been getting more into playing indie games, though. Um, mm. So Humble Bundle, I'm signed on with them. So they'll send me some indie games. I'm signed on with some other people who let me know about some indie games coming out. And I think those are the best ones because they're not overplayed. When you play them, you're not going to get spoilers from people. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just <laughs> some of them have such intriguing storylines that you're like wow you know this this game should be big this game should be huge and no one's playing it so i'd love to be the one to play it and be like guys check this game out thank you so much oh my goodness my savior <laughs> <I swear. laughs> because when you have no air conditioning this is what we do <laughs> yes do the best you can yeah <laughs> so i just i love playing so many games but um i guess after i built my pc about two years ago I've really strayed away from my console, which makes me feel bad because I grew up as a console gamer and like it's sitting like right next to me and I feel it staring me down. Like every time I turn on my <laughs> PC, it looks at me and it's like, Kate, don't play with bad. me. <laughs> it is don't your feel destiny. <laughs> right. <laughs> PC master race. <laughs> That's what everybody told me and now I understand. Mm. <laughs> it's 
is so easy because it's all right here on the computer. I don't have to yeah. look anything else up. No. I just click a button and it goes. And you can surf the web at the same time. Right. At the same time. <laughs> doing the FPS. So you've got like yeah. one hand. She's that good. <laughs> that good. <laughs> I mean, the only reason I got a PlayStation 4 was to play Destiny. The only reason. Oh. They yeah. have that on X. As well, they do, but it was exclusive on PS4. Was, I think was, wasn't well, it? there's was gonna be exclusive content on play as, uh, PlayStation sakes, 4. I'm pretty sure I've played it. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 but, but like I, I know, launch, was I, was, I was an Xbox, you know, Microsoft <laughs> fan for the longest time, but of course, Bungie went with you know, Sony with the exclusive content, they would get mm -hmm. more stuff first. It's like, but right. it only makes sense. So I'm a Bungie fan, then of course, they <laughs> dropped the ball. <laughs> We know, killer. We know. Not I really only wanted Not a PS4 for uh, The Last of Us Aww. until dawn. Those are pretty much it because now Metal Gear Solid is on Xbox as well and PC, mm -hmm. which I mean, I'm not mad at them for it because yeah. I mean, it's all part of strategy and marketing. Oh, yeah. But that used to make me feel really special when I had a PlayStation and I could play Metal Gear. My friends who had Xboxes couldn't. <laughs> you could rub it in. No, I'm not special anymore. <laughs> uh, I have Persona 5 to look forward to. It'll be coming out. It's a PS4 exclusive. I don't think I've heard of that one. I just haven't looked at console games anymore because I've... I don't either, yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, it's not on Steam? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> 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 there it goes. Shit too. <laughs> I have to actually physically put a disc in? What? What is that? That's so strong. So 20th century. I know, right? <laughs> no, I actually have later and be like, you know that you can have like Xbox Live and just not deal with that. Just... <laughs> yeah, but my <laughs> Xbox does not have that much memory on it. Not much left. <laughs> well, I have like two games downloaded and it's like 75% full. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, there might be a few more than two, but maybe there's like no more than five, guaranteed. Five, just five, maybe six. Just no, five. No, just six. <laughs> I've got Halo Master Chief Collection on there, and that took like, yeah. I swear, it took a yeah. year just for that to download. Oh. And then with every update they had to do on it, it just oh. was more and more and more and more. Especially when it's like a, a day one or a day zero patch. Oh, God. It's yeah. just like... I, but, but I, told, I was I told play I could game. play it at, at midnight. I could yep. play the game. Psych. That was me sitting there. I'm like, where's your dedicated server? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so mad. <laughs> the rage is real, people. The rage mm -hmm. is real. And just, I tried playing it for a week, and it just, the servers were so bad. I either had to wait 45 minutes to get in the game, or the server would drop. And I was like, you know, I really wanted this game to be great. And it's not. So I haven't played it since, I since don't blame it you. came out. <laughs> Can't blame you. Very sad. He's like games nowadays just don't, aren't what they used to be. I know it's because we're you know getting old and cynical, or <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of afraid with the uh, the new Deus Ex coming out in like, you know two weeks. Like, is it going to be a flop? Is it going to be bug ridden? I'm kind of I excited. Like... I mean, I'm not going to get it at launch, but I'm, oh, I'm kind of yeah. excited. I, I, want, I want it to be good, but... I... The games that they make where they just keep making more and more and more and more and more, it's like at some point, you've done all you can do on it, and everything else is just a repeat with yeah. maybe touched up graphics and slightly changed maps, or in the case of Black Ops, let's just do the same maps over and over, over and over. Again. Just prettier graphics. Yeah. I don't know. Pat, you're disrupting. <laughs> I, I, was, I, I didn't want to say anything, but I was watching when he jumped off the bed and started strolling across in the background. She's so mad right now. I'm totally a cat lady, by the way. Oh, you, you, you can bring her on stream. I mean, Calvin and Hobbes are usually down here screaming at me, except they are afraid of, of because of the hamper incident earlier. So, happens. well, she left her flame her flame mignon outside, and now she's she's <laughs> mad. She can't get back to it because that's dirty. <laughs> Strong. It's just strong. But speaking mm -hmm. of food. <laughs> ah, great, oh, segue. Wow. great segue. Great <laughs> segue. <laughs> totally planned. Totally planned. I see an opportunity killer and good. I seize it. Carpe diem, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, 
cat. I appreciate your help in this podcast. Or as you know, Jocko would say for me and Bio, that's getting after it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I mean, you do more, uh, as I mentioned, than, than just your game streams, too. Um, one of my favorite playlists on your YouTube channel is Cooking with Kate. So Ooh. what what got you, what made you just decide one day, you know, hey, you know, I'm getting some followers on Twitch. I'm, I'm, you know, doing this thing. Let's, uh, let's become Julia Child of the internet. Let's just start, let's just start baking things. And you know, With, without the SNL parody of accidentally cutting a, a finger off and just shooting red everywhere. <laughs> Actually, my boyfriend had that idea that I should actually cut my finger off, like by not like really cut it off, but like pretend to. And my dad's like, "Oh, I can get you an IV bag from the hospital. We can just, you know." Oh my god, that would be amazing. <laughs> Sounds like something. It's a thing. It's a <laughs> I was thing. like, I don't want to scar my viewers. Um, I've been cooking since I was really, really, really young. Like, I started gaming when I was four. Probably started cooking when I was two. So, I started cooking a long time ago. Um, and I had people ask me because I would post pictures on my Instagram or on Twitter because of course <laughs> I'm a foodie you have to post on Instagram um hashtag no filter ha <laughs> um <laughs> so I would post pictures online of the food I was making and I had people ask me like oh how do you make this or like what's your recipe so I started filming them and putting it on YouTube and then Twitch came out with creative streams and I was like right. oh oh this is rich Oh, this He's is still grand. my beating heart. Yeah. <laughs> so I started live streaming it now. Um, and it's just, it's done really well and everybody seems to enjoy it. And I have a lot of fun doing it. I love cooking. Uh, some days I will cook and then I go right into my gaming stream from that with a social <laughs> eating break in between because that is totally a topic on Twitch too. Mm -hmm. Social eating. But yet exercising isn't. I'm not going to question it any more than what I already have, but... If you question it too much, the world starts breaking apart. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, but so I, mean, I just yeah, and it's it's a really good you know if if you haven't seen it yet, it's it's definitely worth a look. Uh, she's, she's got I think five or six videos up there for that particular playlist. But mm -hmm. I mean, I've I've done some of the recipes. They are very very tasty. So <laughs> check that out. The so, whole point of them is that they're quick, they're easy, pretty healthy. Uh, cause there's some that are like, eh, it could be healthier, but they're pretty healthy. And I just aim it towards like the gamers where it's like, Hey, I'm a, I'm a grad student. So, I mean, I don't want to spend a lot of money on groceries. I don't have a lot of time to spend cooking. So that's why everything is quick. It's easy and it's healthy and ready to go. And it tastes good. <laughs> it's the way to be. Damn it. Now I need to, I need a quick weekend. See? I have pork. <laughs> My yeah, girlfriend's been trying to get me to cook more. To, <laughs> to actually do something. I yeah. told you this would be a thing killer. I, I know. Tried to, I tried to teach you things I know. in advance in preparation for this day. And you said, why would I do that? I'd just take her out. Blah, blah, blah. No, <laughs> I told you this day would come. There, there's some truth to this. Yeah. Well, it's not so much that because I actually have all this pig meat I got from my hunting. Mm -hmm. I That's still true. cook. That's and true. there's a lot of pork chops. I've been looking at fake pork chops, maybe. You should okay. stuff them. Yes. Make That's stuffed it. pork chops. Mm -hmm. Although, it's a real thing. Tell me I'll, more! <laughs> I'll link to a recipe. <laughs> All right. We're done. <laughs> Grilled pork chops probably link you. are also very good, especially considering it's like 100 and what degrees in Oklahoma right now? <laughs> actually, right now actually. we actually have a cool spell. It's only like 90. Oh, I'm sorry, it's correction, it's 84. <gasps> That's, I know. I know. Break out your winter coat. That hasn't happened in a long time. <laughs> it hasn't happened in at least a month and a half. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, there's the recipe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, red pep. Oh, mozzarella. You already have me. Uh, <laughs> the red peppers, you know, I will try it anyway. You I can stuff it with spinach, it. peppers. Um, red peppers I think are pretty good, though. I mm -hmm. think he would like that. It's got a lot Sun -dried of spice, tomatoes. sweet. Sun-dried tomatoes are good in there, too. That He's just like, good. there's veggies. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, I'm a, I'll admit I'm a potatoes and meat guy. I'll admit <laughs> it. But you'll, you'll survive, killer. I'll it'll survive. Be, it'll be delicious. <laughs> you will like it! <laughs> Put it this way, <laughs> red peppers. So, I mean, that should tell you everything right there. 
There well, you go. he's the guy who just likes chicken strips all the time. I know. Chicken so strips are delicious. True, but that's, yes. <laughs> but the point being, even he likes red peppers. He has expanded his culinary taste, and I'm very proud of him for doing so. So I'm just saying. Lies. I have to see it for myself. <laughs> I think we still have some leftovers in the fridge. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make him start. He, he's going to be like, I did not get Instagram to do food porn. And I'll be like, I absolutely need to do food porn if you have Instagram. But like you should be following. Picture it didn't happen. Yeah. yeah. On Instagram, you need to follow the hashtag Styrofoam God, which is yes. what Pork Chop uses in uh, Hawaii, eating all that Hawaiian food uh, out oh of gosh. a Styrofoam. Sometimes a plate. Sometimes it's a clamshell. Sometimes it's a bowl. But yes, styrofoam god. Wait, it's a thing. What, what was that thing you were telling me about earlier that Porkchop wanted to talk about? Or wanted us to talk about? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just... He he wants... It's, it's Porkchop even here? I mean, look. No, he's not. He has said anything in chat. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> ah, he's not, but I'm gonna do it anyway. This is for you, Porkchop. He, Chee-hoo, Samurai! Right. And nobody, everyone else is like, shake my head. <laughs> Pretty much. Samurai. <laughs> I need more alcohol. <laughs> I, I suddenly understand what the, the thoughts that were going through Sayo's head the other night when he came back to the local <laughs> ninja. <laughs> <laughs> ninja? <laughs> Samurai. All right. Well. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. It's he's gonna make like his own version of Juggalos, except it's Hawaii. <laughs> Alright, I'm writing this down. It's going to be in the fanfic now. She who C H E E, but you have to extend it for some reason. Draw like the line over top of it. It's like... Then who samurai. Okay. Well the funny thing is okay, that things that are written in her book actually do happen. It's kind that of, is I, wonderful. I kid you not. It has it's happened. already happened, but it was just in Twitter DMs. Oh, like other things have happened. There's Does actual that book evidence. like tell the future? Like she writes no, it no, down no. and then it happens? Almost. Almost. <laughs> I mean, sometimes even magical beef jerky appears in her notebook. It really does, too. <laughs> that would be the best notebook ever. <laughs> It really does. We were. <laughs> I may have told this story on Untap before, but for for those in chat who may have heard the story before, I don't care, because it was just so amazing. Because you're going to hear so, it again. So, so this Did last you listen? this past June, we had our first rival con uh, out in Marshalltown, Iowa, where we brought you know everybody together. We had you know quite a few of our our community members from around the United States flew into Iowa. We took over this town for an entire weekend. It was it was magical. And on the drive home, because we, we live in Cleveland, so uh, mm -hmm. Varyar and my husband, uh, the Baron, and I drove out together. We drove back together. And so on the drive back, we're still in Iowa. We're not quite to the border with Illinois yet. <laughs> and, you know, we're, you know, pumped because, you know, we, we just had a very successful weekend. You know, everything went, mm -hmm. you know, very well. But, you know, at the same time, you've got that kind of like, you know, post-con deflation because, you know, just saw all your friends. You're not going to see them for, you know, another year or so, you know, whatever. So it's, it's a little sad. And <laughs> I just happened to flip open my notebook because we were, we, we had literally just been talking about Killer and saying that, you know, it's going to be sad because I'm not going to see Killer for another year. And I flip uh. open my notebook and in between two of the pages. What... Wait, wait. What was it? Was it Salty? Black, oh, beady. It was so good. <laughs> A little juicy. Oh, it was delicious. <laughs> it was two pieces of his beef jerky. We all love to talk <laughs> about killer's meat. <laughs> it was it was amazing. I was like, oh my god, we were just talking about him, and then the I like the to do jerky dream sound the magical jerky. <laughs> <laughs> I do make some good jerky. It is delicious. It is delicious. Oh, remind me to ask you, because yes. cause Lyserg and I were talking about this the other night, and of course, yeah. you were off doing something. You weren't, you weren't there. I, with us. I know, right? I think mm -hmm. I went to bed early I that want, night. I wanted to ask you what kind of dehydrator you use for your... Ouch. 
something from Walmart. I got two different ones. They, they're both quick at the same speed. Actually, I think one of them is actually still my dad's, and he bought that like I have to say, ten years ago. <laughs> he just sent it and over to your house so that you would make more. He didn't them. use them. He doesn't eat. He just didn't and then does he take all off. your jerky from you, like after you make it? No, I do. Although that does remind, <laughs> I need to share some jerky with him. But was bragging in chat right now. Yeah. The, that he's tasted your lovely meat on the way, <laughs> up, on the way but, up to Rival College. Well, here, here's the funny thing. I think uh, I told um, you bio and Baroness. But, okay, I have my uncles like to go hunting. Yeah. And they taste, they actually add some of my jerky. He's like, oh, this is really good stuff. So they're about, they just went on, they're about to go on their next hunt. And they sent me like a text. They're having a, te you know, group text. And it's like, yeah. God, it'd be really awesome if we had, some, we packed in, you know, some beef jerky from Matt. Well, oh, killer. <laughs> Fork wall, sorry. <laughs> Man, you just ruined my oh, entire experience. experience. Totally ruined it, totally ruined it. Anyway. My immersion is ruined. <laughs> so anyway, it's like, it's like, well, yeah, it would be really awesome. I mean, if you pay me like, you know, 50 bucks, I'd, you know, I could send you some jerky. It's like, really? You're going to send me 50, you know, make us your uncle's pay? Yes. Yes, I am. It's going to yeah, cost that buy much. The yeah, it's Come expensive. On. Oh, just wait. It's like, uh -oh. All right. It's like, if you're really serious, send me the money and send me the address. I kid you not, within two minutes, I got a, a text message saying, $50 <laughs> have been deposited to your bank account. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the email address. You wanted okay. that meat. <laughs> so I made the jerky. So you're I saying said, it's some good jerky. It is a good jerky. I it's... made a... Uh, do you do orders to Michigan? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I told you this is going to be a 50 thing. bucks. It's got to be 50 bucks because I literally would the, hey, what's Friday, the email? <laughs> Friday not like Friday afternoon. I left work, went to take the jerky, the uh, the UPS store. It's like, all right, I need to have this shipped next day. Are you sure you want to do that? They really gouge you on Saturdays. Well, uh, tell me how much it is. A hundred and forty dollars. Yep. Yeah. If you want it that morning, it's one hundred and seven dollars. If you want it that afternoon, um, how about I used, Monday? I used to, <laughs> yeah. When my friends were in the military, I used to ship them baked goods, and I would uh, two day ship it because it was really expensive otherwise. Yeah. But in order to keep like the stuff from uh, drying out, uh -huh. you take a piece of toast or not toast? It's bread because mm -hmm. it's not toast. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh you yeah. You take yeah. a piece of bread and put it in there. Or apple slices, but then I was like, well, then the apple turns yeah, brown, it looks good. weird. Yeah. So I used to two-day ship packages, but holy cow, I don't think I had anything over, like, $40. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, when I shipped, it was, like, 25 bucks. So pretty much, actually, the $50 covered both the cost of the materials and mm -hmm. the shipping. Oh, that's good, because yeah. holy... <laughs> I had to ship some stuff from Long Island around Christmas once, and... I, I paid a lot. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, never ship around like, Christmas time. Never, ever, ever. Well, I didn't have a choice. I was Rookie going back mistake. from school, so. <laughs> it does happen. But, but yes, hey, if you do want some jerky. I mean, I'm not opposed to it. <laughs> if you want to do a half a order, because usually it, that $50... I, the, it's a giant roast I usually use as Ooh, my nice. Are you, are you saying it's, there's a half order available, Killer? Well, yeah, uh -oh. for twenty five dollars. <laughs> We're watching, folks. You people who are watching this, We're there's a live We're transaction haggling. going on as we speak. <laughs> Not quite as smooth as a drug deal, but it is indeed a deal. <laughs> I will give you like, like, uh, fifty dollars and three game codes. It's, you got the meat. Uh, you got the money. It's completely <laughs> worth it. I'm just saying. <laughs> Let me just slide into them DMs real quick here. <laughs> <laughs> but for UK, I might do a free shipment. You know, the first one's free. <laughs> okay, he does that to get know, you hooked on it, and then you're, next thing you know, exactly, you're twitching and you're like, exactly. Kill he's, he's, <laughs> We're getting. I need him fix, man. I need him fix. I need a jerky. <laughs> I've been there. Y'all got any of that beef jerky? <laughs> and everyone's gonna be like, where's Kate? You just like open up the closet and I'm inside like... <laughs> Don't judge me! <laughs> jerky! I need it! <laughs> I've been 
there. I've been there. <laughs> What's well, a thing now? <laughs> it is a thing now. <laughs> Twitch presents jerky bartering. <laughs> <laughs> so then we have to do the side panels, like those shows where it's like, oh, I'm really going to lowball him on this and see what he comes up with. <laughs> you know what, killer? $15 half batch. You just stream where, like, I just have a piece of paper and I slide across the desk. You open it. <laughs> <laughs> Not your <laughs> Take hands, and that's <laughs> The deal is done. <laughs> oh. Almost makes this a... a mafia thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So I hear you didn't pay for your jerky last month. Wow, yeah, to break your legs. <laughs> It'd be a terrible shame to have your Twitch stream bomb. <laughs> <laughs> I'd hate to DDoS you, but you know what? You haven't paid up, so. <laughs> no people, just saying. Uh, there's some pretty nasty I know a guy people. who knows the guy that knows the guy. Don't make me do this. <laughs> who, who happens to know 1,000 computers that don't realize they have software running on them? <laughs> computers that fell off a truck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You just happened to land here. What can I say? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I like their new show on RCM. Breaking jerky. <laughs> <laughs> just got you in like a hazmat suit, like dehydrating jerky. <laughs> I see this being a thing in the future. <laughs> I mean, Twitch Creative covers this area, <laughs> right? Dead guy in his backyard. Some guy tried to get hold of the recipe. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I really have wish... the danger. <laughs> I am Heisen Jerky. <laughs> That's fantastic. That's my new screen name, Heisen Jerky. <laughs> you're gonna dress like that for the Halloween episode. That's what you're gonna do. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll, I'll go with <laughs> that. I can shave my head on entirely bald and everything. Works. I'm making the note. It's not going on the book. <laughs> it's going in the notes. It's gonna happen. Uh, I am the one who dries the meat. So. <laughs> this is beautiful. Thank We're you, just going to do a whole good. show on jerky now. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is a thing. Hmm. This, is, this is a thing. <laughs> oh. We need to have her on more often. Just I think around. we do. Sit around our meetings, you know. What idea should we bring up for the show? Mm, Heisen jerky. Heisen <laughs> jerky. I'm all about that. Oh. We should do one where I teach you guys how to cook a dish. We have to cook it consecutively. Ooh. Killer Ooh. wants to be step one where he can show the empty pipe. <laughs> <laughs> no, step one is I just, you know, wave some jerky at Kate. He's like, I don't have to do anything anymore. <laughs> That's right, Killer. You don't have to, you're done. Thank good job. <laughs> this is not the meal you're looking for. <laughs> See, that's when his girlfriend's gonna make her first appearance on stream, smacking him. Like, I'm I look much. forward to that. <laughs> you probably see his hand. <laughs> <laughs> it was a, it was a then, crumb cake, exactly. wasn't it? It was a crumb cake. It was it's a cherry, cherry crumb, crumb cake. cake. No, it's it also just air in a pan. Air in a pan. It's okay. I recently traded uh, Hearthstone pack codes for a carrot cake. That's a good trade, probably. Yeah. Was it good mm -hmm. carrot cake? Well, I'm waiting on it. Cody, when's that carrot cake coming from the guy from your work? God, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Huh? Wait a minute. You gotta text him. Ask him when my carrot cake's on its way. <laughs> <laughs> And you use foul language all kinds like of drugs, from aka them. food. <laughs> I'm like, I will trade you these Hearthstone codes for your <laughs> beloved carrot cake. <laughs> On this day of my Twitch stream. <laughs> <laughs> well, I heard the carrot cake got good reviews, so I mean. Oh, there you go. And I told him if it's not as good as mine, then. <laughs> well, uh oh. <laughs> I'm like, I should put that to the test. It's free. It's going to be great. <laughs> free cake. It's going to be huge. Hell's Kitchen RCM Edition. I like this. <laughs> <laughs> this jerky is so raw, I hear it mowing! 
No, 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 no. What's the other one? Uh, oh, Cutthroat. Was it Cutthroat Kitchen? Cutthroat Kitchen. Oh my yeah. gosh, I've always wanted to do an episode of Cooking with Kate, like Cutthroat Kitchen, where the stream donates money for sabotages. Yes. <laughs> That's interesting. Yes. That would totally work. <laughs> Alton, uh, Alton, so good. <laughs> I'm just. Doesn't that sound great? It kind of does. <laughs> So would we have hacks be if we did the Hell's Kitchen version? Would hacks have to be hacks would have in to charge be of it? Voiceovers. Yeah, <laughs> and he'd get to call people donkeys and wankers and yeah. all that. <laughs> like grab grab uh, two slices of bread and slap them between you know on either side of the head and go, "What are you? I'm an idiot sandwich." Oh. <laughs> 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 Oh my goodness! <laughs> I, I, I to tell you the truth, I don't imagine Hax doing it. I, not with anger in his voice. It's like yeah, he's he's very he, calm. He, he, he's he, very he calm. Would not, he would not be able to do that straight face. He'd be laughing too hard about that. Oh my god! Uh... <laughs> oh. Buggeration. Oh. So. So. Kate, are you uh, are you familiar with the phenomenon known as the magic hat? Uh oh. <laughs> um, I feel like I'm not, and no. I feel like this needs to be explained. All right. So when we get to the point of the show where uh, we <laughs> yes, when we get to the point of the show where we've gone over all of the main questions that we had for the guest. Um, we have what we refer to as the magic hat. <laughs> this little, is beautiful. Little magic button, bunny, bunny. Don't and want your cat near the bunny. Of a ridiculous <laughs> number of random questions. Most of them, oh shit. Uh, most well, of them one has already related. been selected. <laughs> Thanks to gravity, nine point eight meters there's per second. There's two of them squared. down there, so it's like a fifty-fifty. <laughs> um, but there's there's a catch to it. So also in this hat are I think seven or eight uh, wild card questions. Just an asterisk. Boy. Yes. So the wild card questions are uh, free random questions that the guest gets to ask of the hosts, and we Ooh. all have to answer it. So there's no getting around it. <sighs> okay. So. <laughs> this could and we be... have not drawn one yet. Yeah, we I have don't not. Think. Which is why we so, ended up adding gonna a bunch more so that eventually this will be a thing. And we will yeah, there was it. just one originally. Yes. Gotta there's, raise the probability like a bit. One question Five to roll them all. Uh, <laughs> so one the magic hat has them. spoken. The magic hat gives the question. To roll. Are you more like Mario, Gordon Freeman, or GLaDOS? Hmm. hmm. Gordon Freeman. I mean, look. The glasses, <laughs> the beard. I'm a silent protagonist in my own except life. when you sigh that is true. I, I imagine i imagine gordon freeman sighing he's like this. the entire time like fine i have to say it the world again fine get the crowbar <laughs> out whack 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 i would have to go with glados because you are evil and manipulative she's, she's kind of evil sadistic. she's very sarcastic throughout all of the games and she uh, will taunt uh, the player with with promises of baked goods, which may or may not actually <laughs> appear at the end of the game. Uh, so. Story of your husband's life. He has to do all these puzzles <laughs> for my imaginary baked goods <laughs> he never receives. It's, it's time to get this hashtag going again. <laughs> you told me if I mowed the lawn that you'd make me peanut butter cookies. <laughs> I don't Oops. see any peanut butter cookies. It's too hot to bake right now. You lied to me. <laughs> Poor Baron's sitting up there right now thinking, hmm, I'm going to go on stream in a little bit, and it would be nice to smell baking peanut butter cookies as I play. Mm, that does sound good. Mm -hmm. It does sound good, actually. Now I'm craving them. <laughs> <laughs> Beer back. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I had to drop a Feel the quick. Baron hashtag because <laughs> Poor Baron. <laughs> So, so what I about like... you, Kate? Are you are you more of a Mario? Or are you a Gordon? Or are you a Glados? 
I feel like I would just be more of a Mario because I just keep going and I keep trying and Mario just goes back to my original game roots on the NES and so it's like I just I feel for him you know we we just we homies <laughs> what, I'm, what I'm hearing is you always keep going right and you jump on people and killing them <laughs> well I mean if I gotta stomp on a few heads to get along the way I, I, you know, I, I can't, can't blame you somehow I'm just saying Making sure. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you gotta do what uh, I gotta do. <laughs> exactly. Gotta keep going right. And I never find the princess at the end. Nope. <laughs> She's Aww. always in another no, no, no. castle. Okay. Always a stupid toadstool. Like, come on. <laughs> come on. You know what? Toad needs some love, no, too. That makes sense, because when you think I about it, I mean, Mario's a hardworking Italian. You know, he didn't ask for this. He's went down oh. the pipe one day. <laughs> just a plumber. A everyday plumber. He's from plumber. Brooklyn. He was just thrown the, into uh, this. <laughs> Go with the TV show mythos. Yeah, Brooklyn Plumber. Oh, I just had like a mental image of him doing like a Prince of Bel Air <laughs> <laughs> theme <laughs> intro. <laughs> Up <laughs> we go. <Well>, one day, <laughs> God. Yeah. So, by what would you be? Where are you? Uh, I'd probably go with you, Killer, on on Gordon Freeman. I'm Using free science mind. to defeat your enemies. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Gladys uses science too. She just does it, you know, evilly. Is science? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she doesn't use science. He is science. <laughs> A little bit of difference. All right. Let's let's see what the magic hat gives me this time. <clears throat> okay, you shook it off first, like in case it had any extra <laughs> remnants actually, on it. Because they're they're all the same that size. Other and they're all folded the same way to, you know, so you're not, you know, accidentally. So you're shaking so the they, extra oh, magic off of they it. They actually, like, you can kind of see it, like, as you shake it around, they stack inside of one another. So I have uh -oh. to shake it to make oh, sure that Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, we have one on? of our regular uh, Forgotten Reapers says, Mario keeps doing the same thing and failing in the end result. In the end result. Literally, Aww. declines their comments. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> well, I feel good about myself. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Those feels. Confidence. Those feels. Uh, what is the next question? Well, this is an interesting one. So, in the realm of gaming, do you think of your age as a positive or a negative? Hmm. Neither. <laughs> it's it's like, a reality. I of that. It's what it is. <laughs> I I guess I would say positive because, you know, we've got to start out with, like, the classic consoles. Mm -hmm. And kids nowadays don't know anything earlier than an Xbox One. It's like, you're missing so many good games. Yeah. There's so many classics. And, like, they will never know what it feels like to get all the coins on Sonic, which I've still never done. But they will never know. <laughs> Get all those rings! Like, it's just, there's so many good games, and yeah. I feel like age is a positive thing, so it's like, we've gotten to experience all these, and yeah. kids nowadays have not. Yeah, I would say What's it's a positive. Point? Yeah, because I think, I think the majority of us who are, you know, in their, you know, 30s or late 20s, we, we kind of hit that sweet shot mm -hmm. in gaming, where there were some good games before we were able to play those games but there was a crap done in the 90s and we were able mm -hmm. to play oh yeah so we have perspectives like and we've seen games get you know change and evolve and they are bad so yeah i think yeah h yeah h wise is i think it's a positive Plus, I mean, we, we get to the point, there are so many great games out right now, too, that keep coming mm -hmm. out. That is true. And we're to that, <clears throat> like Killer said, that little sweet spot where, you know, we're old enough that we have disposable income, mm -hmm. but young enough that we don't have all of the, the obligations of family and whatever that take, you know, so we have the time to enjoy it and we have the, the cash to enjoy it. I mean, it's... It still has some of the reflex reflexes left exactly. order skills exactly. <laughs> so yeah, I'd, I'd say we're 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 in that good spot yeah. Fire. any thoughts 
already gave mine at the yeah. first. It's just, five, it's five, just five. a reality. <laughs> I mean, neither. God, you just so... Because, well, I mean, when you think about <clears throat> think think about game design. Think about yeah. what limitations they had back then. That is true. They had to make them a certain way because they only had so much memory on those little cartridges that yeah. they could yeah. deal with. Now, it is true. we were just commenting on this before the show... You get a, a game on Xbox One or PS4, <laughs> and it's like there's a day one patch, and it's several gigs in you yeah. know, size. So, you know, thing as a part of that process, things have gotten better More looking complex. ideally, not necessarily true. But they evolved. You know, it's it's just the advance of technology is what it is, and and both of them are good for their own reasons, yeah. really. That is killing me right now. Leonard's like, my kids are going to start at NES and work their way up. <laughs> we actually had one of our, our, our streamers, DTD, yes. have his kids play the originals from the start. Yep. That is fantastic. Mm -hmm. I think the best, though, is uh, Cortez and Troy says, I'm making my kid 100% Dark Souls before they can play anything else. Ah! You gotta make them prove they're serious. Oh, I see. Wow. <laughs> you wanna be a I gamer? Die played... less than two times in a playthrough. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's this, asking a lot. That just... really is. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Down of six, noob. Noob. <laughs> 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 Start them young, and they will never stray. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right. Oh. What is this one? This one doesn't want to open. <laughs> This is this is kind of topical. So going along with uh, the children, what secrets will you keep from your children? Mm. Probably how many times I died in a certain game. Be like, no, I beat this on my first playthrough. <laughs> so can you? No. <laughs> Probably how many hours I put into a game, actually. I would not want my kids to know how many hours I put into Legend of Dragoon or Borderlands 2. Because it was a lot. <laughs> and how many hours you ignored them. <laughs> that too. <laughs> how many times I forgot to feed them when they were crying. <laughs> Shh, quiet, quiet. I, Daddy had... <laughs> <laughs> just gonna like, just... have the kids in my lap being like, I'm almost out with his level! <laughs> I just had this mental thought of there being like a, like a little food dispenser next to the bassinet and she just smacks a button and a little piece of chicken <laughs> drops out. And the kid's happy for an hour. The jerky. Just... <laughs> Teach them when they're young. Yeah, exactly. Catch them when they're young. Ooh, that would be an excellent secret. <laughs> beef jerky. Honey, though. I think Killer is going to be where he hid the body <laughs> as part of his uh, his jerky making career. <laughs> <laughs> How many people that I had to go to build my empire? <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, yeah. Day, son, Xbox this will be all yours. Xbox 10 was free. <laughs> it was blood involved. No, I'd, I'd be like those parents that lie to their kids about, you know, the drugs they did in college. And I, I'd just be completely like, no, I, I never Oh, did. I thought we were keeping I this never, PG. <laughs> I never did no. PG. I never did I PG. Never did. <laughs> <laughs> Why, who told you that? Do you have some? Yeah. <laughs> who told you that? You know where some is? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Your uncle Killer used to deal in beef jerky. <laughs> <laughs> he used to be a kingpin. <laughs> then he got assassinated <laughs> by one of his closest friends. For all of his That's jerky. That's a secret oh, I have all. to keep from them. Shh. <laughs> Make Wait a no minute. I thought we were supposed episode. to be running mates in 2020. We yeah, are. That's, that's why I guess I can't have children until then, because I don't want to have to lie to them about your death. I just imagine <laughs> that if somebody were to go after Killer at this point, the person would be Jack. Jack Lynx. <gasps> da, da, da. Jack Lynx will run against us in the 2020 elections. I'm going to sound stupid. Who's Jack Lynx? It, it's, it's a, a brand, brand of beef jerky. Jack Lynx, oh. <laughs> Dude, that's the, how much I he doesn't do even know it's competition. With Sasquatch jerky commercials. Because it's shit. That's what it is. I'm gonna say it out <laughs> loud. Any packaged jerky is shit compared to mine. It's it's true. well that and it's just packaged jerky is just yeah yeah. <laughs> mine will probably have to be how much money I spent on video games. Oh yeah, a lot. 
Not as much as my gun collection, but you know, at least, <laughs> at least those are physical. I could actually yes. sell those if I wanted to. Yes, that's true. That's true. Anyway, those are a worthwhile investment. Yeah, they can be. Can be. <laughs> so you can't sell them. <laughs> no one wants to buy them. Anyway, personal so, problems. Let's do one more. One more. Oh, this gun wasn't used for anything suspicious. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, Gay. I'm the oh, I'm an upstanding citizen. It's I would never do something like that. I mean, <laughs> I don't have to kill my competition. My product <laughs> speaks for itself. That is, that is accurate. That is accurate. <laughs> well, I can't wait to try it now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So our last question for the evening. Uh, so what video game genre is your personality most like? Ooh. Personality. Ooh. Hmm. Were we on Killer's Jerky when this question was figured out? Just, just asking. No. Hmm. My gut would have first said first person shoot, but that's not really true because I'm. <laughs> F, we just got done talking about your guns. <laughs> well, that's, I, I, that's mm, so you that. got it's something like, to tell us here? No, 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 because it's. I like to have things like orderly and efficient, mm -hmm. you know, pre almost predictable in a way, but not so predictable, but same for the rest of eternity. What I'm hearing is you're a timed puzzle game. <laughs> you are text twist. I have no idea no, what you're talking that, about. Uh, That's sad. I will, the I bomb will... one, what's, what's it called, Killer? The one that we're going to play at some point again. Oh, keep talking, until, uh, otherwise you explode? Right, yeah. I don't know. I was thinking more like like a procedural generated game where <laughs> the rules are are set. You know, you always these action always equals this, but the environment kind of changes all the time. I don't know. Fair enough. Fair enough. I can see that. I can see that. I would say role playing game, but my life is not that exciting. I would say horror game, but it's not that scary. Um, I don't know my personality. I guess I would have to say a puzzle game because you got to figure it out, and then at the end you're still just frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> you just never win. Life is like a box of puzzles. You never know what you're gonna get and throw them on in the air. Tip the table. Monopoly, that's what it is. A game of Monopoly. There you go. Just get frustrated with everyone. Just fuck it, I'm done. Just trying to build up to Boardwalk one day. One day. One day. Bio. I, I had... <laughs> I'm not going to say the one answer because it, it makes me laugh. Too Come much. on, you can say it. Say it. No, no, no. I'm going to go with uh, Space Flight Simulator. Really? Okay, explain that one. Why, yeah, why, is your, why is your personality a space? Like, ha have simulator? you seen? Okay, so have you guys seen how crazy, empty. like, flight, just oh, flight simulators in general look? Like, <laughs> like when, when people make them, like the the setups they have, I mean, yeah. it's crazy. I mean, it's one of those things where it's like, you know, if people saw this stuff, more people end up on the terror watch list because it's all. You know, I've got a, a working seven forty seven cockpit module. <laughs> Right here in my wow. house. Okay, no, okay. No, I'm, 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 okay. You know, it, I, it takes a lot of things very carefully executed and such. So I can execute a bigger plan. I'm just saying, I'm real good at docking command module to the lunar module on, uh, what was that, that program? Uh, Orbiter. Yeah, Orbiter 2000. I got to a point Regular where I could, just, Armstrong, huh? I could just nail the landing. Like, yes! <laughs> 10 out of 10 every time. Yup. Yeah. Would we'll dock again. Would we'll yeah, we'll dock again. again. <laughs> oh. Fair enough. I'm thinking, like, generally, I would be more of like a, I don't know, like a sandbox type game where you can... Sims. Sims, isn't it? Not, can be not, the Sims. Not Sims specifically, but like just just, Come on. just if we're going just genre general, just because okay. you, you can play around, you try little bits of you know 
all sorts of different things. You can play with your friends and get to know new people and get to try things and yeah. My boyfriend just typed survival games into chat and I sure hope you don't mean that my personality is like a survival game. Oh. <laughs> that would be a little Ooh. That would be a little rough. Ooh. Ooh, may need to turn that fan on in the back because it's getting a little uh, get a little heated right now. Eric is saying life is cards against humanity, which I I can kind of see that. I can kind of <laughs> see that. There you go. <laughs> well then. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Bubba just burned you pretty bad, killer. Oh, Bubba, that hurts. <laughs> like, are you are you confirming a high five? It's forever rumored, but it'll never happen. <laughs> that used to be my life until I got a girlfriend. That's pretty much what it was. You're currently super meat boy. What? Yeah, that's you, what you're oh, okay, that's no. a good point. Yeah, yes. yeah. I keep dying and keep coming back. And it's no, I think it's referring to the meat I, as in ice and jerky. Yeah, ice and jerky. Ah. <sighs> We're we're gonna make that costume killer. It's gonna be oops. It's gonna be amazing. Like, the girlfriend will get a kick out of that one. She'll get yes. a kick out of that. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right, folks. Well, that is just about it for RCM on tap this evening. So once again, thank you, Kate, for joining us. Fourth chair. We're gonna have to have Indeed. you back again because that was so much fun. Yes. Um, thank you guys for having me. <laughs> you can see Kate uh, streaming throughout the week on her Twitch station. Uh, she's also got her stuff up on YouTube right there below. And don't forget to check out her very special game stream on Saturday the 27th, uh, raising money for a very good cause, um, getting you know video games in the hands of kids in hospitals, you know, brighten their days a little bit. So, um like I said, be sure to check her out for that, and we will be hosting uh, their stream throughout the day here on Rivalcast as well, so be sure to stop in for that. Uh, Baron will be up next, and for all of our other shows, our schedules, our written content, be sure to check out RivalcastMedia.com. Um, as for the rest of us, we will see you next week, and from all of us here at Rivalcast Media, cheers. Chi hao, Samurai! <laughs> oh, dear God. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. <laughs>